my students welcome to the next class under the chapter electric current and its effects in the last class we discussed about what is an electric current what is what is an electric circuit what are the components used in electric circuit what is an open circuit and what is a closed circuit all these things we discussed in the last class today in this class we are going to study about the effects of electric current okay our chapter is electric current and its effects so far we discussed about electric current and circuit in this in this part we are going to discuss about the effects of electric current what are the different effects see there are three effects of electric current we are going to discuss one is heating effect next is magnetic effect and third one is chemical effect these are the three effects out of these three the first two effects heating effect and magnetic effect we will be discussing in this year in your seventh class and we will be discussing about chemical effect in the eighth chapter in eighth chapter there is again another chapter the chemical effect of electric current there we will discuss about the chemical effect of electric current so here we are going to discuss about the heating effect and magnetic effect of electric current are you ready okay good okay now we shall see the heating effect of electric current see in your home there are electric bulbs are there no okay see you go and touch the electric bulb after some time after switching on it for some time how do you feel yes you feel very hot no yes similarly uh, if you switch on the iron box for some time okay and touch yeah it will be very hot here the electric energy is converted into heat energy okay the, or we can say that the electric energy is used for generating heat energy by using the electric current we can produce heat the materials get hot when electricity pass through them that is the heating effect of electric current the heating effect of electric current or the principle of heating effect of electric current is used in the instruments like iron box you know immersion heater immersion heater the one which we are using for uh, heating or boiling water for taking bath okay immersion heater and your uh, hair dryers okay very good hair dryer okay, when current is passed it will be heated for drying your hair you heat uh, uh, heat hair dryers in saloons in beauty parlors and all we can see then see room heaters are okay room heaters then what else electric pressure cooker okay when electricity is passed heat is generated electric oven okay so electricity is used in many devices the heating effect of electricity is used in many devices by which we can convert the electric energy into heat energy and that can be used this application or this principle can be used in various ways in our daily life okay in cold places like ooty and all uh, they use room heaters okay in room heaters we can see if this is the room heater we can see a coil of thin wires are used a coil of thin wires are used in room heaters okay the metallic wire which is used for heating is known as the element which is known as the element get okay, the metallic wire which got heated when electricity passed is known as the element similarly in iron box also there are spring like structures inside some of you might have uh, open and saw this there are heating element is there inside inside the hair dryer heating element is there see the 
immersion rod you might have seen the immersion rod immersion rod will be like this okay immersion rod you might have seen immersion rod like this okay which is used for heating water okay you can plug plug on see and we can just put in first you put in a bucket containing water and uh, just on it after some time the water will be boiled you can use it. so this is a heating device so this is an element the metallic part which become hot after passing electricity is known as the element similarly in bulb okay in bulb you can see the element we say that it's a filament okay that is the heating element which metal is used in a bulb for making filament okay tungsten okay tungsten so these are elements the material which become hot when electricity is passed is known as the heating element so this heating effect is used in our daily life in various ways are you clear see the bulb you know the electric bulb usually consume more electricity why because the electricity which is passed is utilized for the heating of metal and the heat is radiated also therefore more energy is consumed that's why we are suggesting to use cfl and led bulbs okay cfl and led bulbs if you touch the cfl bulb you will not feel hot because there is no elements are used no metallic elements are used either in cfl or led bulb what is the form of cfl compact fluorescent lamp compact fluorescent lamp cfl okay so in cfl you cannot see the element the metallic element hence the current consumption will be very less here the properties of fluorescence is used are clear therefore we have to practice using cfl or leds where the current consumption electric consumption is very less now i am going to discuss about one of the most important application of heating effect of electricity you know in our home there will be fuse okay so in fuse the heating effect of electricity is used what is a fuse you know fuse is a safety device in our home you, you might have seen near our meter board there will be a fuse there are fuses even in our room nowadays the fuses are in the form of mcbs okay so fuses are available in our home in our room in every electrical gadgets we can see the fuse even uh, fuses are there in the tvs fuses are there in the tap recorders fuses are there in our uh, mobile okay in our computer laptops fuses are used the fuse is a safety device and when more high voltage current when a high voltage current pass to a circuit the fuse wire fuse is made up of a special type of wire a metallic substance fuse is made up of a special type of metallic wire which can melt very easily it will get heated and immediately will melt so when high voltage current pass the fuse wire which immediately get heated and melt thereby it break the circuit and the passage of high voltage current will be prevented so that our home our electrical devices like computer refrigerators everything will be safe so what is a fuse fuse is a safety device which is having a fuse wire with very low melting point and when high voltage current pass through the circuit the fuse wire become hot and melt immediately so that the devices and the buildings are protected therefore fuse wire is a safety device protective device see here we are using the application of heating effect to make a fuse wire okay fuse wires are generally made up of uh, tinned copper copper mixed with tin or tin and lead tin with zinc these special wires are used for making 
this what you call uh, fuse wires okay fuse wires are made up of special type of wires which melt very fast so what i want to say is that if fuse has gone in your building or in your home don't change the fuse wire with some other copper wires or some other wires okay because all the wires will not melt when high voltage current comes therefore fuse wire there are special fuse wires are available you have to use only those fuse wires okay in place of the gone fuse wires we should not change the fuse wires by some other metals by our own which become very dangerous okay actually the fuse wires are made up of metals which are very uh, less melting point so that whenever more voltage or more electricity pass to the circuit immediately it will melt and the circuit will be broken and so that we will be safe nowadays in place of fuses in place of fuses in place of electric fuse mcbs are used mc what is the form of mcb miniature mcb means miniature circuit miniature circuit breaker okay miniature circuit breaker you can see this miniature circuit breakers in your home in our hostel and all okay see when more current pass to the circuit this mcb automatically switch off okay so that is called miniature circuit breaker the circuit will be broken automatically when a huge voltage high voltage current pass to the circuit automatically the miniature circuit will come down so that the supply of the current will be stopped or the circuit will be broken so that it is saving our building or the things electrical gadgets which we are using in our home so mcb the full form is miniature circuit breaker which are, which are used instead of or in place of electric fuses are you clear now so in electric fuses and in mcb which effect of electricity is used yes very heating effect of electricity okay so heating effect of electricity is very cleverly used in this device in electric fuses and in miniature circuit breakers in mcbs hope you understood this part okay okay thank you